This is one of my most recent artworks called Creativity Takes Courage. Its title comes from the fact that I used that saying in the artwork. Also in the artwork is the saying hope and strength. In this artwork, I just painted the words love and hope onto the canvas. Gluing puzzle pieces and jewelry onto the canvas adds texture. Here you can see a combination of jewelry, beads, and molding paste. Wire also. I love mixing these materials in order to create artwork. Creativity takes courage because it takes strength to be different. That's why on this video I chose to use various artworks that I created in the past year. Not only by using different materials can you make your artwork unique, it's also by using different techniques as you paint. Perhaps you drip the paint onto the canvas. This is a snapshot of the painting under. Here's a smaller version of under and it's created a little differently. I first began by sketching out the umbrella. Well, I shouldn't say that. I actually made the background first by just playing around a little bit with color using more of a pastel palette. I also created some leaves by using molding paste. I have some stencils of leaves, so it was easy for me to use a palette knife with the molding paste in order to create the leaves. Here I am sketching out the umbrella. When I create art, I have an idea what I want to create, but I'm not fixated on what the finished product will look like. I know some artists do that. They sketch everything out before they paint, and that's fine, but I don't like doing art that way. It's why, in a way, I use acrylic paints, because they dry quickly. Once the molding paste dries, then I can paint over it with our acrylic paint. I use a regular brush in order to do that. Here's a snapshot of the painting in progress. Now for this painting I didn't have a title for its piece and that's okay. Not every piece has a title. At the end I added a little bit of glitter too to the art piece. I did like the idea of the umbrella as being part of the art, so I started creating a new piece where I had two figures underneath the umbrella using more purple pastel. Here I'm using a palette knife. I like using a knife in order to spread the molding paste, or even the crackle paste for that matter. This second figure was added after the first figure dried. Here's a snapshot of the painting in progress. I use paper plates in order to mix the paint. I find an inexpensive way to create art. Notice that when I'm creating the curves in the umbrella, I'm painting the brush in a curved motion. This color that I'm using right here is more of a green gold. I like it because it gives more of a yellow color to the green. To paint the rain, I use a brush going up and down in very broad strokes. Another way to show creativity in art is to use puzzle pieces. Also in this art piece, I also use some ribbon. If you notice on the lower of the canvas, there is a blue ribbon. There's some jewelry in there as well. I used molding paste to create the flowers and added some sayings like trust your heart. Here's a snapshot of the finished artwork. Let me get back to creativity takes courage. Now also in that painting I also used the words hope and strength. Here I used tacky glue and then after I put the glue on there I wet my brush and I just put it over the paper. That helps. Sometimes it helps to roll your finger across the paper. Here I am using molding paste in order to create the flower. I first do the flower 
then I let it dry, and then it will add paint on to the painting. As you can see, I use quite a few different techniques in order to be creative. I hope you will too. The important thing is to remember is to have fun with the art. I know I do. So in conclusion, in order to be creative, use the courage to use different materials and use different techniques. Do not be afraid to try and have fun. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit subscribe to this Arts to Envision channel. This way you will not miss any episodes. Thank you.